Right, um, so here's the Magnavox uh, 2x uh, build plate. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scan it and document um, how warped it is or isn't. Um, so basically, I'm using an X Engine scanner, Studio Scanner. I'm scanning in HD. Um, and the um, so HD settings, um, which will give me uh, 1,100 points per square inch. Um, that's all you really need to know from the screen. Um, so I'm, this is on the turntable, um, and I'll do like a 360 scan, even though I don't need to do a 360 scan because uh, I'm just after the face. So the the clouded. Um, Appearance of it is just um, top basically that I brushed on um, to help it um, scan um, more accurately. And this, the back of it is just taped up with blue uh, bulbous tape um, to stop the um, top getting in the back. Right, so um, here's the uh, build plate scanned. Um, that's the uh, tape at the back. So I got a good scan of the face. Um, there's a little bit more realignment, uh, but I'll do that in RapidWorks. Um, we'll just show you the, the mesh. I'll find the meshes. So it's, uh, it's all the points. So it's pretty um, detailed. Um, right, so that's it all scanned. Okay, so um, here we are in Rapid Works. Um, I've put the mesh in, I've cleaned out um, the turntable and the gantry, etc. Um, so I've established the origin uh, in the center of the plate, uh, ready for um, ready to bring into SolidWorks. So because I'm just interested in the flatness of the plate, I'm really not too interested in about the um, the front and back and rear and side flanges. Um, so what I did was I copied um, the mesh um, and I just made a copy of the mesh just for the top plate. Okay, so there we have the, just the top. I then cleaned up the mesh, um, cleaned the boundaries, um, um, so that's basically the mesh um, all cleaned up ready uh, for auto surfacing. Um, then I've created the surface um, ready to go into SolidWorks. This is now a, uh, a surface that um, SolidWorks, I can work with in SolidWorks um, to do all the measurements. Um, or, you know, I could do the measurements in uh, RapidWorks but it's just a little bit harder. So um, that's the surface ready for exporting into SolidWorks. Right, the next time I see me will be in SolidWorks. Right, here we are in SolidWorks. Um, after a bit of thinking um, on which is the best way of actually showing you the uh, how far the, the plane has warped, I thought I'd just duplicate basically what you do um, with three-point setup on the Macabots. Um, so, um, projected three points onto the surface I need to get a datum plane in there. So all these these three points are sitting on the surface, um, on these surfaces, right? Then I created the plane, which is this one here. I'm just going to hide the other planes quickly. Right, so I'm hiding, I've just hit the other planes. Um, so basically, um, what we got is three points on the surface, and this plane, this top plane now, which is my datum plane, um, goes through and touches these three points. From then, from there, I then did a sketch to show the upper and lower um, extremities of the build plate. Um, to do that I needed to create a front plane that's perpendicular to this plane. So let's show you that one. Oops. 
Okay, so on this new plane um, that's perpendicular to my datum plane, I did a sketch outlining um, just to show the upper and lower deviation points. Um, so if we look at this from time now, you can see my it's highest in this corner. You can see this line here just comes across the high point here, and that's parallel to our datum here. So that comes completely parallel to that datum. And then the lower point is this one here. And it's actually, yep, it's low there. And you can see on this side here, it comes below, the low, you know, just on the lowest point of the plate. So it's spot on the lowest point of the plate. Now, um, just a quickie for you. Um, what I did then was I then created planes um, for the lower and upper. Let me show those. So there's two planes there now, three planes there now. You've got our datum, which is that one there. We've got our upper extremity, and we've got our lower extremity. So uh, first, if we see what the difference between the two, the upper and the lower is, we measure that. That's how it works. Oops. And here we've got um, normal distance between the two planes is parallel. Um, there's no angle involved there because they're parallel. And it's 0.57. So it's actually worse um, than the sort of manual, manual measurements I did with the dial gauge. Okay, so we've got that one. Let's do another measurement. Okay, so we're going to measure the top, sorry, the datum plane and the top uh, extremity from the datum plane. And it's um, 0.36. Call it 0.37. And then from the datum plane to the bottom extremity, it's uh, 0.21. Um, so yeah, so it's even worse. Um, the scan data, the laser scan data, is actually showing it's even worse um, than the dial gauge showed. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do now is just show you the um, deviation uh, of the sort of map out the basic um, plate at certain intervals above and below our datum. So this is our plate looking down from the top um, as it is. Okay. Now um, if I put a cut through our datum point at zero zero, this is what we got um, that's above. So this all the red area here showing here is actually above our datum okay at zero. Yeah. If we go at um, 0 0.1, this is what we've got um, remaining that's above our data. So this is all that area of the plate is um, 0.1 millimeters above our three point um, level. 0 0.2, that's what we get. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Okay, I haven't gone past 0 0.5. Um, so, okay, so 0.5, that's the high, well, near, near, nearly at the highest point above our datum zero. So we go back to zero now. Do the same for the bottom. Okay, so there's our default, yeah. Um, at uh, minus point, uh, so minus point one, this is what we've got. Um, so this is um, 0.1 millimeters lower than our datum, yeah. Um, 0.15, that's what we got lower than our datum, um, and minus 0.2, that's what we got at as, as our lower points, lowest points, um, looking from the bottom. Okay, so to sum up, um, basically I'm in no doubt whatsoever now after doing the laser scan. Um, that the plate is warped. Um, we have, um, let's run through the results. Um, show the planes, show our sketches. So, some max deviation uh, between the upper and the lower limits is 0.577, so we call it 0.58. Um, max deviation between the datum plane and the top plane is 
five. And the max deviation bef between our date and plane and the rear, the bottom um, is uh, 0.21. So um, to me, um, that is, you know, I'm not sure what more I can do to prove to MakerBot that the build plate is warped. Now they've been saying to me that um, it's not warped and that if I print with a raft it will sort out my problems but I'm trying to tell them that physically the build plate is warped. I did the dial day gauge tests first um, they won't accept those results basically um, until I do a print with a raft etc and um, I scanned, I've scanned the plate now. I'll, um, I'll put a link to the scanned um, data for anyone who's interested to download it in SolidWorks and the um, STL um, mesh as well uh, if anyone's interested. Okay, thanks.